Hi, this is Freya and Emma from Otherworldly. I haven't done an unboxing video for quite some time. Um, I had to stop doing the treasure chest, of course, since that one shut down, and I haven't really been subscribing to any other um, subscription boxes with any regularity. However, when they announced the June theme for the Decocrate, uh, Enchanted Dreams, I um, knew I had to have that one. Oh well, new and new, I of course as usual waited for the very last um, previews and such, I can never make up my mind without those, but I did pre-order it yesterday and now it's time to take a look inside. Um, but before we start doing that, I thought I would just quickly give a rundown of uh, what I am wearing to do this unboxing video. And I've got on a dress from Sensafine, and this is a special RFL color that is available at an event, which I will be noting in the post, of course. Um, I have a hair uh, cherry from Truth, which is one of the uh, recent releases. So it has a style HUD, uh, our stylist HUD, and two different ways of wearing it, and um, the new texture HUD as well. And my skin is the um, Atara from I'm a Bee, worn on uh, Lelotka Simone. Now, the uh, box for this month um, has the usual features of being able to obviously unpack everything, uh, delete the rest copy, join the group, or you can click the individual designers and um, get them one by one. I've already taken care of some of that, um, because it takes a while to rest them all every time. So what we've got here is 15 pieces from um, uh, some of the usual designers, some that I don't recognize, uh, but I think they might have been added since, uh, or in, by the time that I haven't been doing the latest deco crates. So, um, for example, I don't think I've had anything by Lorizon before. I don't know what YD is. Um, some of these sound really interesting, uh, definitely sound like they are using the Enchanted Dreams theme very well. And I'm going to be very curious about um, dipping into these boxes and seeing what we've got. First up will be Chesmoa Furniture, and they have an Enchanted Bridge. Which comes in an adult and a PG version and has some transparent bases grouped with it. A couple of other information about the uh, level of detail needed and so on. So you've got some fun, uh, some information on how to use it. Um, I will rest the adult version so that we can see all the um, animation menus. And I'm gonna get a sit on it. And then I get over here. And you basically have this quiet little or private island where you have poses. Just myself up a little bit. And see what we've got. We have single female poses. So you can lie here looking fetching. Or oh, we can be a cutie. Or maybe have a little read, perhaps of a fairy tale. In addition to that, we have male poses, love, proposal, and adult. So you can do all sorts of things here. And have your little marriage, and then go on to the naughty stuff. And then let's have a look at the um, whole arrangement, so to speak. And basically what you have is this little island and you have these stepping stones coming up to it and a, and a rail um, and I can see there that I need a little bit more uh, a level of detail for these uh, fine leaves not to disappear and you have some of these cute little fairy lights floating around and an inspirational sign about love and fairy tales so this is quite cute and definitely excellent for um, taking a photo, doing a little scene, since you have all the poses built in. Always nice, not having to hunt through your inventory for poses. I, I find myself having less and less patience for that, unfortunately. Um, and I always end up going with the same things, which isn't 
ideal either. Let me see here, we have those. Um, so, um, scenes with sort of built-in stuff are always great for that. And as number two, let me see where we are. There we are. We have the Norway Maple from Little Branch, I think that is. Yes, the Little Branch. Even. And we have two versions. One that is 7LI and one presumably larger. I will do the regular version and res that here. And it is quite a large tree, as you can see. Um, although I suspect that you can res it or um, shrink it down as well. And we have a season menu. So we can have. Okay, that's spring. I'm guessing this is summer and autumn. We have a little bit of a mix of some leaves starting to turn. And then we have winter. I'm not sure that maple leaves actually turn white in winter, but um, maybe the enchanted ones do. So that is really nice. I think I'm going to leave this one out for now, but I am going to make it a little bit smaller to do so. And there we go. So I'm going to have a little fairy tale tree for uh, the rest of this video. Looking very nice. Number three is the Enchanted Nightbed PG from Convair. And we have color change via a menu system, the footboard, and the round leaf objects may be color changed, and the string lights also at the footer. Um, and we have some customization. Okay. We'll see what this thing is like. Except if I close the good if I close the right thing and not the wrong thing. Here we go. So this is our enchanted bed which has these lights. I'm going to move it a little bit. It's tangling a bit with the, with the tree and get it down to the ground. Not too much so the shadow disappears. And let's see, we have customization for the lights here. A simple click puts them on and here we can customize the color. Um, maybe we'll do red. Min max. Oh, I see. We can um, basically turn on and turn off um, and mix the colors. Okay. Another clever system. And here's the footboard, which allows me to change the sheet. Let's go white. And I can do the Dove lilac, maybe. And the outside of it, I will do plain white. A little lilac and white to match my dress. And then I can have a sit on it so we can see what the poses are. We have solo poses, a um, couple of sits, some sleeps. Um, I'm sinking in as usual. Ah, okay. This one uses one of these instead. Excellent. Okay. Back, um, couple. No, how do I turn those off? Ah, like that. And then we have couple poses. Um, a few menus like that of uh, PG couple poses, some just kisses, sleeping together. Um, very nice. It's um, kind of a sort of modern fairy tale take with these very stylized um, trees and then these lights. Um, but it's uh, 
quite nice and pretty and has a nice selection of colors for for the bed so i'm gonna pop up from that and stay in the shade of my tree as we look for number four then we have the margaret dining from aria um of, of the previews that I saw, there was one that looked like it was a dining table with um, lots of fruits and things. We'll see if that's it. I just need the one copy, I think. And we have a coalesced object here of the table. And what we have is a table with... Um, okay, some decorations set out already. We have some options for access here on the textures. Um, looks like we can choose to not have these, for example. And then we have the stumps uh, you can sit on. Okay, that one is seated the wrong way. Um, and that one got a little high. Let's see, let's see if that one's correct. There we go. So obviously you can move these around. This is just an example display. Um, we have sits, general, female, male, some chats. Um, various options. Always a little difficult in a dress. Um, you know, fitted mesh and mesh dresses do... Um, they can do a lot when they're rigged, but they can't really handle curled up sit poses. Um, dining, we have some eating options and we have, oh, a dessert option. Ah, and here we get a dessert. Um, cuts into a little bit of the cloth, so I think I'll get rid of that one. Um, it obviously rests in relation to the stump, so here it ends up a little far out. It looks like you might almost knock this lovely chocolate cake off the table. Chocolate with blueberries and something with a lot of whipped cream. Tasty. Very nice. I'm going to wait for when these menus start having more in the way of bento poses and such. Uh, these movements I think are just related to uh, the basic hand movements that I have in. Um, stuffed. After the dessert. And then we have some desk options. So we can sit and read at the desk, for example. The coffee mug and a Kindle. Um, your fairy tale Kindle. So this is a bit more of the modern side, but uh, definitely has a very rustic and lovely feel to it. I uh, think we have looked at all the options then. We can have a little bit of an overview of the table. Very nice. Pop up and move myself a bit and do a bit of cleaning up. An attempt to not clean up part of the mesh ground as I managed um, earlier when I was setting up a, a photo. There we go. And after Aria, we have the Laboratory from Marukado. Okay, so this is a bit more of a modern thing again, but it has that sort of abandoned, overgrown feel. Um, looks like it's quite large, 44 lie, so we'll see where I can rest that um, without having it just end up on top of my head. Zoom out a bit and plop it down over here. Okay, it hasn't quite. There we go. So we have, we don't have an upper floor, but we have the upper windows like that. And then we have a steel door. And I hope that's rust. But you never know with these abandoned laboratories. Could be something else. Um, those cracks in the walls don't look good. I'm not sure I would move in here. 
uh, but it is kind of a cool build. I could definitely see um, setting photos and that, or using it for atmosphere. It's nice and big. Um, you can um, get a few things into it. Put it somewhere out in the woods, like your abandoned laboratory for your um, forbidden science experiments. And they probably went wrong if that isn't rust on the door. Okay. After Marocado, we have the Enchanted Swing from Pew Pew. We have a swing without a script and a swinging swing. So I think we will try the swinging swing. Ooh! And it's not like your typical. Oops. It said something about deleting this prim. Let me see. Change rose textures or hide roses? Uh, let's go for white roses. Okay. And then we can delete that one. It just gave us instructions for how to do that. And then we sit down on the swing. And it starts swinging. Now we have female and male and couple poses. This one I like. That is also an excellent frame for a photo, I think. There we go. Um, really nice with the circular framing that it gives. Um, I love how it looks against this uh, mesh backdrop here. And, and, the, and the gentle swinging. That's, um, that's really cute. Um, very different from the sort of usual swings that you tend to get in SL. Um, and particularly nice for photos, I think. Um, you kind of have the frame and everything ready. Very nice. And you have the same sort of set of male poses, and then you have um, one menu of um, couple poses as well. Excellent. Then we we'll just have to find the right sort of trick to hang it from. Obviously, you can actually get away with not hanging it from a tree as well, if um, you know if you have some trees around, you can sort of pretend that it is in a particular tree. Let me see if I can get it to sort of hang from this one. We don't have to see where that's where it disappears to. Ah. I like. Not a bad combination at all. And let's do revival next. The revival also has an enchanted swing, so this will be interesting to compare. Um, no particular options there. It is some instructions for just the menu uh, texture changer. Okay, so it has a texture changer for the swing. We'll see how they have interpreted this particular idea. Okay, they have also gone with a bit of a circular swing, which is interesting. Um, and we have A similar set of options. More poses here, as you can see. Uh, quite a lot of male poses. Um, quite a lot of female poses as well. Um, basically two full menus, almost two full menus. And then we have um, a couple poses also a bit more, so um, it's a bit more um, simplistic in the design. It has this sort of the steel going around it and um, I can find one that 
looks nice without stretching the dress too much. That's a tall order. Ah, there we go. That'll do. I might want to be a little higher up, actually. So my feet aren't in the ground. That defeats the purpose of a swing. This one does not seem to be swinging either. Um, just not actually seeing the... Uh, everyone touches will only the, um, okay, I'm not certainly sure where the texture menu is hiding, to be perfectly honest, maybe it is, ah, there we are, in the pillows. So we have... And the other one, I'm guessing, doesn't have an option. And the wood doesn't have an option. Okay, so it's just for the pillows. So a little more uh, simplistic, but more poses. And also a nice design. Um, very interesting, I think, that um, they would both hit on something like swings, actually. Um, I don't know how... But I, I guess it just has that sort of whimsy feel that you can um, associate with uh, the fairy tale ID. Um, now this one has a really interesting name, even Dragonfly's Dream from KK. Um, I will just go straight to resing it rather than um, looking at the preview. Okay, this one had something that wasn't copyable, so I will just grab it then. Um, it might just have be in the note card or some hmm, interesting um, and we are going to go with the purple to fit with our dress and what you get is a lovely cloud of dragonflies so this is more of a scene accessory than something that would make a whole a whole scene but these lights and the dragonflies are a really nice way of adding some sparkle to um, to a scene, I think. Oops. If I'm not coming around like a drunk monkey, that is. It's difficult to know which part you've actually selected here. So if I use this sort of as the forefront and... Um, kind of seeing the, uh, the tree and the swing behind it, um, this would be a lovely addition to uh, to either of them. And of course you have it in uh, three colors here, uh, three variations, you've got the green, purple, and turquoise, and they are four Li each. And where, where did my folder go? There we are, deco crate. And right, because Kiki moved up to the top because I grabbed it again. Oh, and then we have Extraordinary, the Wisp Willow Bonsai Tree. Mm. They do tend to make lovely decor items. Well, Michelle, I would like a full sized Wisp Willow Bonsai Tree. It just sounds cool. Um, but again, it wouldn't be a bonsai, I guess, if it's full sized. So, this is more of your little table tree. But that is adorable. The sparkles are... Oh, and they are moving. They are animated. That is beautiful. The little will-o'-wisps are scooting around the bonsai tree. Absolutely stunning. I love the effect on them. They really have a very ethereal feel. That's beautiful. Um, they come up with some really creative stuff. Extraordinary, I think. Um, and then we have Decor, the Jacqueline Chandelier. Um, it was a little difficult to show a chandelier out in the middle of nowhere. But we shall see what I can do. Um, we'll start with the preview, perhaps. Um, and we see that this is sort of an, a wrought iron wood uh, chandelier which has um, actual uh, lights, sort of uh, electric lights in it, but done to look uh, very um, 
old fashioned overall. And let me see this turn on. And then I'll raise up my chandelier. And give you a bit more of a look at it. Very nice work on the uh, the texture, I think, for the glass there. And, and this texture here. It's amazing when you're going close how uh, how detailed you can make stuff with mesh. That's that's very nice. And it's kind of casting the light and using some materials, I think, um, to get the rust on it and everything. Very pretty. And I think we'll go a few. Oh, we'll keep, up. we'll keep in this order, I think. That looks good. So we'll do Mirak, the Enchanted Forest Entrance. These always sound like excellent pieces to mix into scenes as well. Um, and here we have quite a few pieces, so I'm going to give myself a bit of space, zoom out. And we have um, a stone passage. Ooh, that is cool. We have butterfly stepping stones of various types with lights on. Oh, I see. That is very lovely. That would be excellent in a garden. We have fairy lights colorful and yellow so you can have some more spinning lights to add a bit to your scene and we have a wooden sign and we'll do the one with the colored lights here i see there there we go so you have your little entrance and Oops, my stepping stones disappears. There we go. We'll turn those so that we have stones leading up to our entrance. I don't know if any of them have poses in them. Doesn't seem like it. No, and not this either. But it's a great way of kind of building up something in a forest or something and again the the circular um design makes it really good for framing photos um so basically the others are versions of what we've got here we've got stepping stones of different numbers you've got single ones and then you've got with and without the lights and you have your fairy lights with uh, just yellow and um you, the wooden sign without light and the colors so uh, a nice mix of uh, things that you can set up like that. Do a little tidy up in my fairy forest. Oops. These will be easier said than done to catch, I think. I think I will just leave them there for now. Or I will risk just removing most of the sim and then all of a sudden this will be a very strange video. Oh, they sparkle very prettily in the distance too. And then we have YD, the Enchanted Forest Wedding, and I'm not sure what YD is. Um, no, we'll just let it unpack itself like that. And your dreams, ah. <laughs> and we have a preview here. Ah, that's the one I saw with the, the flowers and the cakes and everything. That is very cute. So we have a reser, we have items, and we have a reception reser and a ceremony reser. So I think I'm gonna need a bit of space. Okay, this one unpacks so that you have all of the items separately if you just wanna res them yourself, or we can use the resers. So I think I'm gonna do that for speediness. Sixty-two parts. Okay. 
This is a serious scene. Wow. That is really cool. Obviously, I have all of these um, tracking ones while it's still in deployment mode. Um, but I'm not going to um, uh, finalize it here, obviously, because that would be... Um, I think that one doesn't have a sit on it unless it's not working. Uh, these do, however. So we can clap for the bride and then we have a couple of others so you have room for quite a lot of guests and a little ale aisle for the bride to come up and then this book here as the, the backdrop and this is really cute and colorful um, I will also have a look at the reception so I'm going to de-res this one and instead res out the one that has the reception and click res on that 50 parts to that one so you have your insta wedding and here you have these forest tables and nice little pillows you get it set up right away with these menus very nice and over here you have your um, cupcakes next to your toadstools. Um, I might advise against that just in case someone thinks that's part of the food. And again, it is an enchanted wedding. You never know. Maybe the toadstools just um, help you have a great time. Alternatively, you feed them to uh, the wedding guests that you don't like so much. Um, but that is really cute as well, so um, this is a cool one sort of to have as an instant wedding. Not that I'm getting married in Second Life anytime soon, I, I um, kept it basic enough in real life that <laughs> maybe I should do a big one in Second Life for some reason, I don't know. Uh, but it's cool to have, you know, you never know when you want to roleplay at it. And after your dreams we have another one. A designer that I'm not familiar with, uh, Loris and the Shirley Conservatory Blue. Not too much information there, so we will see what we have. Press it out, and we have another um, building. And this one also has a lot of. Um, windows so uh, that's great for light when you're photoing it's um, also not too huge uh, if you look compare it with me this is a good size um, again a nice space for setting up something because um, you have it gives a really pretty backdrop um, or you could obviously use it as a conservatory and have some uh, beautiful flower arrangements and things in it very decorative um, let's see, and there you have, give a better look at that, I think it fits quite nicely um, in this sort of surrounding actually. Um, and what do we have after that? We have the, the Charm of Anahis from Serenity Style. Light arc and trunks, okay. Ah, I see. We have another little photo scene, I would say. And we have a menu for the um, lights again, similar to the, the Convair, I think. Um, so we're going to start with doing the trunk. And then we do the light arc. If I manage to put them more or less where they should be. Not quite. But 
more like that maybe. And then we can sit on these. Then we have some posters for girls and boys. Um, nicely proportioned. Uh, not at all too big for me. A selection of sits, some down on the ground, some on top of it. And then we have the options here, yes, for colors and lights, on off, uh, the fall off, the radius, um, to have another little sparkly scene. This is also very pretty and um, super. Um, I mostly get these for photos, and uh, this really has um, the right sort of feel for uh, for photos. Um, sort of thing that you can really work with and do interesting scenes with. And then we have, uh, oh, we just have the one more to go. It is the fairy tale dream spinning wheel from Cheeky P. Very curious about that. Um, did see some of the previews of that, and um, I am interested in how it's been sort of carried out the whole finished product. And it is indeed a spinning wheel, um, obligatory for fairy tales, of course. And we have the option to use it for spinning. Um, it just has the one option, but it is really nifty. This is a really nice prop, um, the sort of thing that you know I love to put somewhere uh, and have out, really, because uh, uh, if it's beautifully into any, any sort of fantasy setting and it has all these fairy tale connotations um, I really like it definitely so um, those are all the pieces and um, what do we think about the carrier how they well they did the uh, theme let me sit down over here while I um, share my finishing thoughts um, that'll be good enough I think yeah well um, these are 15 um, nice items I think uh, some of them really nice uh, I think I see the theme in to some degree in most of them um, more in others than um, than some but um, definitely worth the 1500 um, might also be worth the 3000 if you want to subscribe and you really want some of these pieces i mean you get a lot for it so now that you can see what the pieces are um i think that uh, you know money wise straight up it's definitely worth it and it depends on uh how much you would use these um some of them are great as just having around as sim decor pieces um uh, others are a bit more perhaps just for for photos um but i can definitely see a lot of use for it myself and i'm happy that i um took this opportunity to dive back into the deco crate and try it out again um i do like the fact that it is themed which makes it easier to decide um which ones um might interest you um even if you get the previews uh, sometimes it's hard to see uh, exactly what an item is or what an item might be so i think having the overall theme as um a guidance is um is great and i think it makes it as easier to make these decisions um as soon as you know they announced that it was enchanted dreams i knew i had to check it out um and that is it for this video i um hope to have a reason to do um, some more soon during during June. Uh, I'm going to be gone a lot in um, July and August, so I'll have less time and opportunity then. But uh, in June I should be able to do some more uh, videos, so I will be on the lookout for interesting things to, um, to, show, in, um, to show in motion. Until then!